Hello, this is Kazim Kolov. Welcome to the ninth episode of my Logo Modernism series. Today we will be drawing a very famous logo, the Woolmark logo, designed by Franco Grignani in 1964. Now, since this is a very famous logo, there are plenty of videos already available on YouTube. They are all pretty good, but I will still give you my own version of designing this logo. Now, if you analyze the shape, you will notice that it is constructed using three circles. So let's begin. As always, I will not use fill and I will align stroke to center. Select your polygon tool, click once on your artboard and for the side set 3 and for the radius choose any radius you like. Now select your ellipse tool and draw a circle from this point of a triangle holding down shift and option keys. Drag it to the top until you see that pink line. Now what it means is that we have created a circle with a radius equal to the height of the triangle. Now drag your circle from the center holding down Option and Command keys and place it to the other edge of a triangle. You can now delete the triangle. It's time to create the stripes. For that copy the lower two circles. And for more convenience let's delete the left part of the circles. Now let's blend these two shapes with seven specified steps. Expand the shape but do not expand the stroke. Draw a rectangle at the top and at the bottom. Use your shape builder tool to build the shape. Now place these stripes to the right circle. Now this part is very important. If you analyze the shape, you will notice that the fifth stripe is located on the left circle. So that's what we need to do. We just need to copy one of the stripes and place it to the right side of the left circle. Now at this point we can already apply some duplications and rotations to the stripes, but before doing that let me make some adjustments to it. Copy the lower two circles and the stripes to the left. I will emphasize the circles with the red color and the heavier stroke, so that you can clearly see the adjustments I am planning to make. Leave the upper left part of the right circle. and leave the bottom left part of the left circle. Now cut out the stripes using your shape builder tool. You can now unite them or group them. Delete the original stripes. And place the new stripes like so. Make a copy and rotate it 120 degrees. Now we need to align it with the upper circle. Make sure that the stripes are located below the circle. Apply align to selection. Horizontal align left and vertical align top. 
make another copy and rotate it 240 degrees. This time make sure that the stripes are located slightly above the bottom of the circle. Select both objects, align to selection, horizontal align left and vertical align bottom. You can delete the circles now. So there you have it. For more interesting and unique tutorials, subscribe. See you soon.